Hey, Gateway Travel community, I'm Amber, and today I'm here to help you prepare for your next long haul flight with a list of packing essentials. Long flights can sure be tough, but with the right gear and a bit of planning, you can definitely stay comfortable and entertained for the entire journey. So whether you're flying across the country or across the world, here are my personal must-haves for your carry-on to make your long haul flight as pleasant as possible. Let's dive in. All right, first up, in my opinion, is comfortable clothing. First things first, right? Comfort is key on a long haul flight. My recommendation is to wear loose fitting clothes that can easily be layered. Planes can sometimes get really chilly, so make sure you pack a lightweight sweater or jacket, and don't forget comfortable shoes. Something easy to slip on and off, especially during security checkpoints if you don't have TSA pre-check. Or maybe when you wanna stretch your legs mid-flight, you're gonna want something easy and comfortable to throw on and also do not ever go in the flight bathrooms with socks or barefoot. Always have shoes or something with a like rubber bottom um, so that nothing is being absorbed into any of your clothing. Um, feet, skin, socks, nothing like that. Uh, so having those shoes is a must. All right, next up on my recommendations for these long haul flights, number two is travel pillow and blanket. A good neck pillow can make all the difference when you're trying to catch some sleep on the plane. This definitely helps me. I am someone who has a really difficult time sleeping on a plane and having these comfort items like a neck pillow or a blanket really help. There are even inflatable options, so if you are really short on space, that can be an option, although I don't think they work as well. Or you can go for that more traditional memory foam pillow. I highly recommend a lightweight and compact travel blanket. This is a great idea to keep you warm without using those airline scratchy ones you get for free. Uh, this was a lifesaver on a recent flight I took. It was absolutely freezing. I had sweatpants on, a sweatshirt on, and I was still so cold. And having that blanket, it was, it was definitely like one of my best things I did on that whole trip because I was freezing. And even the stewardess were like, we're so sorry, it's so cold. And I'm so happy that I had a blanket with me. All right, number three is noise canceling headphones or some type of earplug. The hum of the airplane itself, crying babies, or really just chatty seatmates can make it really hard to relax. Noise canceling headphones do an excellent job blocking out the noise, okay? Yeah, that's what they're called. So that's kind of obvious. Allowing you to, you know, listen to your show, watch your movie, um, and really just have some peace and quiet to yourself, even though there's hundreds of people around you. Now, if those aren't your style, you can always simply pack a pair of earplugs. Um, these can really help people sleep a lot. I prefer to fall asleep to some type of a show, so I will typically do the noise canceling headphones and put on my favorite show and kind of nod off to that. All right, number four tip is hydration essentials. Airplane cabins, for whatever reason, are notoriously dry. I am always like super, super dry after getting off the airplane, especially a long haul flight. So it's really important to stay hydrated. Bring a reusable water bottle. You can fill it up after you pass through security to keep yourself hydrated throughout the flight. If you feel like being a little bougie, okay, you can always opt to do some type of hydrating facial mist or a good lip balm. These are also essential just to keep your skin feeling fresh. One of my favorite topics, number five for these long haul flights is entertainment, okay? Entertainment on long haul flights can feel even longer without something to keep you occupied, especially, ugh, it can just get really daunting. Like you can only look at where your flight is located so many times on the seat back entertainment. Um, so my recommendation is to download movies, TV shows, podcasts, or books on your tablet or smartphone or Kindle before you leave. Now, of course, a lot of flights do have that in-flight entertainment, but don't rely on the in-flight entertainment system as it might not have what you like, although you can look that up before you leave, but more importantly, it could be broken. It has happened to me so many times or to people I'm sitting next to 
where their in-flight entertainment is completely down and broken and there's nowhere else to move the passengers. So they're really stuck like with nothing for the whole flight. A power bank is also a must to keep your devices charged. The last thing you want is to have all of these wonderful entertainment options and your device dies. Usually most flights now do have charging ports so that you can keep your device charged uh, while you're in flight. But similar to the in-flight entertainment, it is a possibility that your particular seat may have a broken one. So having that charging port um, that you know is trustworthy and will work is really helpful. All right, number six, snacks. Yes, I'm here for snacks all the time. Okay, airplane food isn't always the best and it's served at really odd hours. Like sometimes I'm like, please don't wake me up because I'm sleeping and I don't want to eat, you know, whatever you're bringing around. So it's really important for me personally. I always pack some healthy snacks. Uh, for instance, you could do like nuts, dried fruit, protein bars. Um, I've done jerky sticks or even a sandwich to keep your energy level up when you are trying to stay awake. This particular tip is especially useful if you have any kind of dietary restrictions or maybe you just want to avoid unhealthy airline snacks. All right, number seven, toiletry kit. Okay, stay with me here. I know this is a weird one. Pack a small toiletry kit with you. Essentials like toothbrush, toothpaste, facial wipes, hand sanitizer, lotion, freshening up on a long haul flight, like mid flight, can literally make you feel like a new person um, and just a whole lot better in general. Don't forget to include any medications that you might need and make sure that you keep them in your carry-on for easy access. Next up, number eight, this is so, so, so important, compression socks. Sitting for long periods can lead to swollen feet and even increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis or DVT. Compression socks really do help improve circulation and reduce swelling, and they really just make your flight more comfortable. I have taken many flights without compression socks and my feet almost ache when I get off the plane, even though I haven't been on my feet. And that's just from the swelling. Having worn compression socks on many of my long haul flights, it is a noticeable difference. So be sure that you invest in a really good pair that you can bring with you when you travel. All right, number nine, eye mask. An eye mask is a must if you want to block out the light and get some shut eye on the plane. I have a really hard time sleeping on a plane. I do feel like having an eye mask is helpful and beneficial. It just kind of gives you that extra layer of darkness and it also forces me to keep my eyes shut, which is helpful when I'm trying to fall asleep. Um, so I'm not like kind of bouncing up to look around at every little noise I hear on the plane. So choose one that's soft and comfortable and you'll be able to create a, that dark restful environment even if your seatmate like has their reading light on or is really invested in a movie in their in-flight entertainment, you know, on the back of the seat. So having an eye mask, I think nowadays is really beneficial. All right, number 10, if you've stuck with me this long, that is awesome, thank you so much. Okay, number 10, important documents. Lastly, don't forget your essential travel documents, okay? We're talking passport, boarding pass, visa if needed, and any other important paperwork. It should be kept in a secure, easy to access place in your carry-on. A travel organizer can really help keep everything in one place. I also take pictures of everything, so I have copies on my phone digitally, and I print them off and put them in the liner of my suitcase. I'm a little bit OCD, but you know what? It's come to save me several times in my travels. And there you have it. With these packing essentials in your carry-on, you're going to be ready to tackle any long-haul flight with ease. I cannot say thank you enough for joining me today, and I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any other long haul flight essentials, please drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Safe travels, and see you next time.